are going to go over how to get the semi-tone shift. It, it's not a requirement for anything. It's just an extra reward for episode echoes. Um, you can get most of the progress done if you want to finish the title or unlock upgrades for your vendor failsafe. So the triumph you're looking at here is going to be uh, in failsafe's research on the last page, Museum Curator. And we're going to go over everything you need to know on how to do all of this. It's pretty simple, and most of it is just do it automatically from the story and stuff. So let's start off with the very first one here. We have the nine research quests. So research quests, what those are, are specimen quests one to nine. Um, those you do the story and some of them you have to go find yourself using the proximity sensor. And I can go through the full list here and talk about and show you guys where they are. I guess I already have a Pretty much a video about it already, but I will sure talk, do it again, I guess. So what we're talking about is when we do Act 1 quest, Act 2 quest, and Act 3 quests, over time, you will unlock these specimens over here, and each of these will have a location to pick them up. And then once you pick it up, you head back to Failsafe, and then Failsafe will have another quest, and you do the steps for those ones. Um, and most of it is just like getting kills and stuff, but the locations, we'll explain them here. So specimen one, if you just this is for act one, it's part of the main quest. So you'll get it automatically by just continuing the story for act one, the very first few steps for the most part. Then for uh, specimen two, you have to go ahead and continue the quest. They'll give you a proximity sensor and you wanna head over to breach executable and you'll follow the proximity sensor to collect the third specimen or a second specimen, sorry. And the third specimen is also in Executable, but only after you finish all of Act 1 quests, then you go to Failsafe, pick up the sensor from the uh, the window and the menu, and then you can pick up and find it in a Breach Executable. So only after all Week 1 quests or Act 1 quests are done, then you can go ahead and pick up the sensor and head to Breach Executable. There's nothing, this doesn't hold your hand for this one. You have to do it uh and do it yourself basically and then once you do that you're uh, good to go now for specimen uh number four this is going to be starting in act two and it's just right after you finish the first battleground which is battleground delve which is part of the story you just talk to fail safe and it will progress yourself and you'll find it in between there all right so automatically you will get it specimen five is located in between like the middle of act two and you're going to find uh captain jacobson uh the frog now, this one's automatic you're going to follow the story steps and you'll lead you towards the frog same thing with specimen six with specimen three after you finish act two all the act two quests you head back to failsafe pick up the proximity sensor and then there from there you can go to any battleground and pretty much any battleground will have it, uh, the specimen, but only pretty much near the hammers that, that you'll get the sensor on the left and you'll find that. So there, there's that. So make sure, pick up the thing. Now for specimen seven, you cannot miss this. So when you get the Encore uh, exotic mission in act three, you can go ahead and access the Degas Exo Mine here. And this will give you no matter what specimen seven, you can't mess this up because you're forced to pick this up. So. No matter what, specimen seven is going to be given to you. Now for specimen eight and nine, first of all, you have to finish specimen seven first in order to see and do specimen eight and nine because specimen seven unlocks you to do the secret exotic quests or the chests in the Encore mission. So specimen eight here is located in the second uh, intrinsic perk, which is uh, command frame three in that puzzle area with the giant minotaur boss once you kill the minotaur boss inside the middle the specimen will spawn next to the chest you can pick up specimen eight so is it only if you have specimen seven done but specimen eight is located there now in order to get the last specimen specimen nine it is going to go ahead and get to the last secret chest secret chest number seven which is the onslaught catalyst refit once you finish that puzzle then you can go ahead and pick up the lab bats for that 
for that specimen, specimen nine. So finish the puzzle for the end here. Uh, you know, shoot the uh, the, the circles and uh, the, the the mirrors. And once you pick up the chest over here, you'll see the lab bats are going to be right behind it. And that's it. That, that is it. That is all nine specimens. But like I've said already, that is not the end. Each of them will have steps to finish. And I don't have a list. I have a list. Most of the list here on this website, light.gg here. So here are all the steps you can look at. Specimen one. Uh, all of this here. <laughs> um, most of it, it's just... Uh, doing an activity or getting kills of a certain uh, element or weapon. So, for example, in Nessus 1, he wants you to get data by doing either uh, doing breach acceptable, right? So there, that, that, that's that. You can save that one, and then you go to like specimen 2, which I don't even know where that is. Is that even... Uh, there it is. Uh, let's see here. 40 chests at the end of episode echoes and activities in the helm encrypt the algorithm i don't know what that means i remember doing that to be honest with you echo gear focused yes yeah focus gear number four is it it's just a lot of bunch of crap to be honest with you and you gotta do all of it and there's a lot these are classified still most of them are classified but all of it is just like this one get arc or solar solar uh, arc or void kills right and it's just like yeah there's that Finish one battleground, flawless. You know, like, it's all that, you know? Look, I don't have the full list. The list is here, but I, I'm not going to go through all of it. It'll take too long, okay? And that, that doing all nine of those, all nine of those specimens will progress and finish that one part of the ship. Now, not, not only that you have to finish those specimens, you remember to also put them down and place them into here so here's all of them like where is this these are one two three four five and then maybe six seven eight and nine uh the three. so those are as soon as you put them down it will progress the quest okay that is the first part which is a lot already but it is part of the story and also gives you bonus upgrades for the vendor okay so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the next one here Next one here is uh, 14 Radiolite Specimen. So here we go. Radiolite Specimen is all these triumphs over here. So all of this, uh, fail safe research, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All 14 triumphs here will give you one, well, not all 14, each one will give you one specimen whatever it's called um, thing all right so very important all of those equals that radio light specimen all right so let's explain what they are so first of all one thing to note is that in order to in the very very beginning if you're doing act one you're only going to see three of the radio lights in act two you'll unlock azure and golden and in act three you unlock emerald and violets okay and just in order to do that just finish all the acts right and you'll eventually you'll see your fail safe upgrades which are these upgrades over here uh, the uh, the radio light sampler basically this will increase and you will get more things to find um so that's that the first seven are very easy to do which are just collecting. So when you go down to any act any activity that has the hammer, which will be breach acceptable, encore, or battlegrounds, will have a chance for you to sample, gain samples, a thousand samples of each of the radio light, which is very easy to do. Uh, only 500 for these two for some reason. I think because these are only mostly, you can get them anywhere, but you can find these a lot in the encore mich exotic mission. The only hard part is these ones here, which is collect the 400, the rare version of each of them, right? Now, it's completely random if to find them it's just by playing the game, but you can guarantee one per week. And how to do that? Well, once you unlock specimen six, and you finish specimen six, you will get a upgrade here. An upgrade from the assimilated torch hammer you have an upgrade, uh, let's say it is this one here, the Combat Protocol Override. When you have this unlocked, 
in any battleground, you'll be able to go and fight a assimilated, um, an assimilated dum -dum -lager that's located in any battleground. So you could probably find a video showing the locations of them. Most of them are just around the around a hammer. I can go do one right now and show you guys what I'm talking about. But all you're doing is killing the assimilated demolisher. And then once you do that, then when you finish the boss, there's a chance that I'll drop a beacon uh, into your inventory here. Then you redeem that beacon at Watcher's Grave and you defeat the demolishers with the beacon active when you you know spawn them in. In a certain and under five minutes, you defeat them all. And then once you do that, you will get a guaranteed 400 gram rare radio light that you don't have already. So it will guarantee a brand new one that you don't have yet. That's the very important part about it. Okay. And so, oh God. So that's important um, to know. So right now we're in conduit and I'm going to go ahead and progress a little bit and get to the point where the demolisher is. Real quick. All right, so we're at the first hammer. This is conduit. You can see here before we go to the second area, there's a path over here that will spawn in the assimilate demolisher, which is going to be a waver. And each of them, each, each, each battleground is different, of course. And once you kill this guy, it will kill the boss. And then, then you'll be able to get the beacon at the end, pretty much. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, locations. I mean, the other ones, if my memory serves me right, um, the Delve one, the first battlegrounds to be made or no, that one is at the second hammer right before the boss room at the uh the vex portal i'm not a lot of vex portal technically but it's it's right instead of going left you take a right right and then for battleground core the last one i think that's what it's called is that the first hammer or very before the second encounter going down the upside down spire or the boss room um it's instead of taking a left take a right you should see like a bunch of goblins and it's like a, a vex gate basically and that's usually if you were to take that path um with to get back to the main platform it, you, get, you have to take a teleporter next to it if you're ever wondering why there's a teleporter before that door it's because if you actually head to that platform a demolisher uh, will spawn there pretty much all right so those are the locations for it and then we're gonna go ahead and finish the uh, run here to get a like beacon early is gonna drop for us so as soon as we finish the boss here the chest should give us a, if it doesn't give it to us then i mean i'm always i'm cursed oh yeah i am i'm cursed sometimes yeah no beacon but it, it, it always doesn't work for me on the first attempt. I don't know why. Every time I do it on the first, first time of the week, it just doesn't drop for me. It's supposed to just drop, but it doesn't. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. But anyway, so you take that beacon and then you deposit it um, into... Uh, Watcher's grave, and then you fight them. I said it many times already, but that's it. Now you do that. You can do that every single week, and you'll get a purple one guarantee that you don't own, and then you keep grinding. Um, or you, you could get lucky and hope to get a blue, a purple one from just playing the activities, which I would assume you get a couple of those before needing to do this weekly if you're missing them. Pretty much, and then that, all of those. If you claim all fourteen of those. Uh, radio light specimens then you can go ahead and finish that one check mark okay now remember that in order to gain progress you you know put them into the helm so make sure if you're wondering oh i, cl I came all the triumphs but they're not done yet just remember put them in the helm into the little into their display cases um, and then that will progress 
that triumph. Now the last, second last one, third third one here. This is the Radiolot Bay. Now this one confuses me, but I think I understand what it means. I think this one is just based off of um I just playing the uh playing 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 the uh the story. Cause this is a radio this is the radio light bay right here. You need four. And I think you just upgraded you upgraded three times technically with this upgrade here. This thing, the uh, radio light sampler. And I, I think this is what it means for the radio light bay one. So I think maybe when you first unlock it, it's plus one, and then you get the next samplers, and that's plus it's plus plus three on on 3.0. So I'm assuming that's what it is. I could be wrong, but that's my assumption. I mean, I think I just I I had it automatically done mostly. So I think it's just it's just an automatic triumph or uh, part of it. Lastly, we have organic specimen. There's six of these in total. I'm pretty sure, um, and so. We can look actually over here. Um, so in the rank rewards for fail safe, you can go ahead and get three. So when you do one full reset, basically, you can get three organic specimens uh, all the way through. So you can get all three. You get three here. Now you're missing only two. So there's six in total, right? And where are the other two? The other two. You can find them here. So if we head over to uh, Bray Tech, we can see that. Um, so if you finish all, if you finish all of fail safes uh, quests, all nine specimen quests, you get one organic specimen. If you deposit fifteen times in the Radiolite Bay, this will give another organic specimen. And the other one, you can get the organic specimen by doing expert the expert version of the exotic mission encore i think another one that there's six in total but you only, you only need to do five so you can skip one of these that you don't want to do but of course if you're doing expert then you're gonna you know want to do the catalyst right so uh there is that i guess you know what i mean so up to you but uh that's those those the organic specimens there reset your rank and then there's three more you could do pretty much and the last one if you don't have much progress in the story or you do it's going to be question marks for the most part, but this one, you have to go ahead and get the Vex countermand uh, specimen. And so how this works is that it is part of the Encore secret mission or not secret mission, exotic mission. And to do this and to start this, in order to see these Vex countermands, one, you need to finish specimen seven to unlock secret chests. Uh, and two, this is located uh, with the catalyst, the destabilizing rounds catalyst, the second week secret chest, which is the maze one, the one with the maze, where they go and collect the Vex countermines by opening up the module doors and the portal and the partition one, right? You finish that catalyst or that, that you earn that catalyst or finish that chest. As soon as you finish that chest on your next run, you should be able to see all seven countermines throughout the entire mission. Now, I could show the locations there, but I have a video of it already, so I'm not going to repeat myself and showing all locations for them. But other than that, you find all seven in the exotic mission, and then you can get and you'll put the countermand in the helm, right? Like over here, and this will progress your thing and then you can go ahead and after that doing all of those will get you the ship if is it worth it up to you i mean this will last up until the expansion ends right because that's it's the, this is tied to the episode e echoes and expansions and episodes and seasons whatever the content disappears after the next expansion starts so up to you i mean it's, it's not the best looking ship but it is a if you're if you're completionist out there if you want to do this, then you can do it. You have a lot of time. Anyways, that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, things went smoothly, surely.